And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Deep. That's going to be our first deck today. We have a new uh, day of the week. Y'all know that we always have like the rank up Sundays. We have meme tier Mondays. And then even like Wednesday night, we have just Wednesday night stream. Um, that's our day of the week that we stream at night instead of during the day. Um, and so we have another new day, at least for now. On Tuesdays, we're going to have... Um, no Targon Tuesdays, because Targon is just way too good of a region compared to the, the rest. And so playing ranked, we play lots of Targon decks, um, and there's just so many different things you can do with Targon. But you know what? We're kind of tired of Targon. Let's, let's play the other regions and have some fun with them and see if we can compete in ranked against like all these Aphelios and Zoe decks everywhere with these other regions. So um, for the, you know, for the time being, Let's have, um, we're going to do some No Targon Tuesdays. So today we got our, our four decks. We're going to have Twisted Deep to start with. We're going to have uh, Lulu Fiora with Demacia and Ionia with War Chefs. I wanted to play the new War Chefs, um, the 2-2 War Chefs. We're going to be playing a Callista Thresh, uh, mostly all Shadow Isles deck, Splashing Demacia, Splashing Sharp Sight and Single Combat. Uh, those those two decks I made myself. We had these two were viewers submitted donation decks, and we also have a Sedgewani Swain, um, you know, going with that old school Frel Yord Noxus control. But let's start here. So this deck is a deck where we are going to be trying to draw a ton of cards and just uh, go through our library super fast. You know, like our our deck, we wanted to get down to um, fifteen or less cards. Because, of course, that's that's whenever we are deep. And so we're playing Bilgewater and PNZ because PNZ gets us some extra card draw. Um, stuff like Zonite Urchin, Rummage, um, some stuff like that to be able to filter through super fast. Because then the card draw is really good for Twisted Fate. Because we're going to be trying to level up Twisted Fate in this kind of deck. If we, if we get Twisted Fate and play and then draw 8 plus cards. So for card draw, we have like Salvage. We have Pick a Card that can get 3 Fleeting Cards. Um, Lure of the Depths, of course, draws a sea monster. Um, and then, like like I talked about with Zonite Urchin, we have this new, brand new um, PNZ card that I haven't played before, Stress Testing. So it can either remove Fleeting from all cards in hand, so we can just cast it for one mana to, like, make, you know, like, after, like, a pick a card, so, like, they don't have Fleeting anymore. Or we can just simply discard it and then draw one Fleeting. And, um, yeah, so we can discard it to, like, Rummage or Zonite Urchin, and we draw an extra card that is a fleeting card. Now, with this kind of deck, like you don't want to like, like think about like turn one, if you go like Urchin discard stress testing on turn one, usually that's like a pretty bad thing because then you don't get that extra card because like that fleeting card is just going to get burned. But with our deck, if since we're trying to go deep and trying to get to just 15 cards in our deck, we can actually kind of just do that. And even though we don't get that extra card, it still just burns another card from our deck to get us to deep faster. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and give this deck a try. Twisted Deep. All right. Our opponent is asking us to kill them if we can. So I definitely really like Slaughter Docks. Um, this can give their Fiora some fuel, but I'm gonna keep it and Mystic Shot doesn't really kill Fiora. I mean, it maybe it does with Dredge Dredgers, but it can be good against uh, River Shaper. If they don't have Fiora, maybe they have River Shaper instead. That would be nice. It can also take out a barrier. All right, so I didn't even look. What did I toss? Okay, Mystic Shot, Salvage, Slatadox. All right, so they do have Fiora, unfortunately. My shield is yours. You got a gold card. Deal me in. Keep the Fiora from attacking. The problem with the gold card is if they buff up the Bright Steel Protector. 
Like, I could have gone red card and just got rid of the barrier, but... Yeah, that, see, that was the problem with the bull card. Dead in their tracks. I never hold back. Try me. Hey, Cotterox. All right, so we're still a long ways away from deep. So I think I think next turn I want to do Devour the Depths with Mystic Shot to try to take down the Fiora. So it's what do we do in the you know like what do we do this turn? Um, and I I think I made just a Terrative Improvement this Dredge Dredgers and then Dredge again. Uh, but I feel like I should probably do something with the Urchin. I don't want to cast Pick a Card this turn because I don't want to have all the Fleeting cards next turn if we if we're doing this stuff. Where are we? So yeah, we're 11. Like, I wonder if I just go Urchin and discard the pick a card. I mean, we could discard a Devour, but I feel like with this matchup, we're going to want a lot of Devourers. So if I'm playing Devour next turn and the turn after, maybe I just won't have time for this pick a card, so we can maybe discard the pick a card. There'll be a, a long time away before we play it. <clears throat> They're also passing to me with all this mana. No, I'll just pass. You're covered. Strike quickly. On go. No equal. Five. Okay, we, I think we need to get deep. I think that just like the 4-4 the four four just wasn't, wasn't going to be big enough. We're still 5 away from deep? Oh, that's right, because... Alright, well, I'm hoping this works. I, I maybe should have passed and see if they played anything, but I doubt they play anything. Because their Fiora's at three. Obviously, their Fiora's at three, so I gotta get rid of it. They need a, a Nopify or a single combat wins them the game. They are not playing Nopify or single combat. They're... Yay! This will be quick. Okay, we play on. Water changes, but never breaks. And of course, so we'll, we'll get a blocker, because we are deep. Yeah, game on. down to 11. The water rises. 
I need to say, like, if they have the nine mana card Bright Steel formation next turn, I'm gonna want to Riptide that. By my honor, you must die. Uh, sure. Go ahead. You wanna die? You can go away. All right, let's go 12 cards left. Let's play this first. Because I think that may be my only... Like, that may be, like, my only sea monster. No, I could have broke that up with the Riptide, but not worth it. Still not worth it. Bright Steel Formation is just too good of a card, right? Like, I just need to have that. And, and by not playing the Riptide, we get to play the Slaughter Docks also. Maybe we get the Treasure... One shipwreck order. And a Terrative Improvement with one mana Devour Adepts is pretty sweet, though. I guess they're, they're like zero cost Devour Adepts now. That's a good draw. Protect and strike. Really? I'm not even scared of like judgment, you know, like even if they have like like double buff judgment. I have this riptide, so that doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. Twisted deep. That was impressive. Alright, first Aphelios deck of the day. Alright, so of course we're going to mulligan the Nautilus with it being so expensive. And I think, I mean, Mystic Shot isn't really killing either of those. So I think I actually maybe just mulligan the Mystic Shot. I could kind of pair a Mystic Shot with Twisted Fate, but I think I'm going to just mulligan it. I keep Lure the Depths and the Twisted Fate. So pick a card, Slaughter Docks, Salvage. And I'll save, I'll just not cast anything here and save the two mana, but we could urchin away the stress testing and get a fleeting card, even though like that card will likely just get burned just to help get us towards deep faster, but I, I'll just wait on the urchin. I, I don't think I have to play it, because we can, we can keep two spell mana for the Mystic Shot. That fits pretty well there. Yes, yeah, so they have Aphelios. I think I'm discarding the Lure of the Depths, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I think I just discard Lure of the Depths for this Urchin. Alright, so they're playing the Moon Weapon. Get the two-cost follower. A crescent path opens before us. (laughs) 
Agent Iowa! Keeping up that nine month streak. Thank you, Agent Iowa. Um, so you're our first sub today. I guess I didn't I didn't up I didn't change this from yesterday. We had one sub yesterday. <clears throat> okay, so both of our pick a cards are burned. Right? The other one did a pick a card also? Yes. So we have no pick a cards left and we have the twisted fate. Pick a card and but... Which, there's that. Yeah, time, time flies. Alright, I'm gonna go... I'm going gold card. I think there's a better chance that, like, gold card plus Mystic Shot kills the Aphelios, because it kills that through. Um, uh, Pale Cascade. Alright, I actually think I, I maybe pass, though, right now. Because... If I if they do have some kind of protection and I play Mystic Shot and they have a protection card for it right there, then they would get a moon weapon, because that would be their second card played for turn. So by waiting. Alright, so they just made the moon weapon right there. Like pale cascades, their only protection, or no protection at all. <clears throat> Please kill Aphelios. But exactly like what that deck, you know, people have had a whole lot more time to like figure out what Twisted Fate Fizz looks like than what Aphelios anything looks like. It takes a little time. Alright, so we did get rid of their Aphelios, so that's good. Well, they just discard a rummage. Okay, so I'm gonna play rummage, then Jaw Hunters, and then stress testing. Or it's not Rummage, but yeah, but this thing, Slaughter Dock. So we're five away from deep right now. Yeah, I think I just stress testing. Like, I could rummage away the, you know, Shipwreck Order. But I think I want to keep the Shipwreck Order. So I'm going to do that. I'm giving them opportunity to play, yep, another Aphelios. So we're three away. Echoes from the deep. Can you improve perfection? All right, so it's just getting stunned for one turn. It's not, um, yeah, you know, it's not a follower. It doesn't get stunned over multiple turns. But we'll be we'll be deep next turn. So I guess if I want, I'll have to discard. I have to discard like the Abyssal Eye to rummage, right? I can rummage like these two away, and then we get the Sea Monster from Slaughter Docks. Or I wait till next turn, rummage the other card away, and I cast Abyssal Eye and cast Shipwreck Order.
Yep, so they had Pale Cascade whenever I had the, the Mystic Shots. A good thing I went gold card, not red card. Don't get that free sea monster right now. Oh man, a iterative improvement is just awesome though. Oh. That card is awesome. Why can't I just rummage away one card? I I have to discard one of these hoarder eye or improvement and I don't want to discard any of them. I know I could I could just play the shipwreck hoarder and we're deep, but then that costs, you know, that cost me 7 mana and yeah, so I I could I could just cast shipwreck hoarder and abyssal eye this turn, I guess. And then a Terrative Improvement next turn. Maybe I just do that. So they, they could definitely have Hush and kill the Abyssal Eye, but they could have killed the Abyssal Eye with Hush before doing that. Um, yeah, maybe it's Mystic Shot. But I can't stop that either. Okay, let's get excited. That would have been a good one to draw. That's stress testing. Because that's, you know, that's a great card to rummage away. I'm of course planning I'm planning on using this iterative improvement on the shipwreck order. You can tell that my opponent wants to kill Aphelioses with playing all these get excited and gotchas. There's probably a thing to be doing. It's possible our mystic shots need to be more of those cards, especially more like gotcha. Seems like a pretty good card for our deck. Alright, so out of these 15 cards in our deck, four of them are treasures. How do they stop this? Should be drawing a treasure. Nope, I guess not. So we have six treasures now out of 14. Alright, there we go. A real good win. Beating Aphelios. Real good win. Alright, back to another Aphelios deck with Zoe. With PNZ. Keep this hand. I like this hand. I like having, you know, dredge dredgers on one, and then we can, you know, like draw a bunch of cards, and then no, they don't have fleeting anymore. Yeah, I guess it gives you ballistic bot. Yeah, I guess I guess you get ballistic bot. Yeah, ballistic bot's fine. That's true. You get the bot. But. Alright, 
Alright, so they have both champions. This is going to be pretty rough for us. So I think Devour Depths is probably going to be pretty necessary. So I think we're going to need to, you know, like, go find Devour Depths. But we're not doing too much next turn. Oh! I actually meant to play Pick a Card here. <laughs> I actually played the wrong card there. Okay, so I meant to do that next turn, but I was going to pick a card away the Rummage. And then next turn I was going to Stress Testing and, and uh, Lure. But so I think I think we're gonna need you know like five mana lure the depths for these things, and then cop you know copying lure. But this is gonna be really difficult. These two champions just get too much value, so we'll see. What's up, Jake Speed? Yeah, Geo, I, th I think I think it will. I think. So the the real good news for me is my opponent can only have ten cards in hand. They can't have more cards than that. That's that's the the real good news right now. They only have one mana. I think I can get this Aphelios with them only having one mana. Oh, they're gonna play. They're gonna play two cards because of the Moon Silver. Oh, I should have gone for Zoe. Wow. Wow. Moon Silver. Got me pretty good. <laughs> we're not going to win every single time against Aphelios decks, right? Like, we, we're 1-0, and and so, you know, we lose this one, we're 1-1. One one. I'll still take that. If we can win half of the time, I will take that. I'm not going to have time for that card. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay, got a Bastion out of their hand. You know, kill the 4-1, overwhelm, and got a Bastion out of their hand, which, you know, Bastion is a card that would stop the Devour the Depths. But all they gotta do is play any card they haven't played so far, and Zoe will level up. Six away from deep. Yeah, you can also find all of my decks on Mobilytics right there, and you can you know, like search by champion and stuff like that on Mobilytics. I am pretty surprised that worked. 
I'm expecting them to like stun a whole bunch of things. So like that. So I'm probably gonna have to play Jaw Hunters. Yeah, like like kill and stun a bunch of stuff. So probably gonna have to play Jaw Hunters for a blocker. I would prefer a course to play um, the Slaughter Docks, but danger paid. Why does this thing need quick attack? I don't know. <laughs> you can ha you can ask why does it need basically everything about it. That's a pretty sparkle fly. Wow, good job. You're so good. Huh. Didn't see that there. coming. All right, I I like seeing anything that's not Aphelios. Let's see. Mulligan. Mulligan. And I'll keep these two. Like Jaw Hunters can can pressure Ezreal. Nice. I like I like having the Mystic Shot to, to shoot a uh, Teemo. Um, we're gonna discard this shipwreck order. Sorry, shipwreck order, but we can't just have have the game like where we have a bunch of six and seven drops early. So this this is a pretty decent hand, you know, Like, but they don't have. Looks like they don't have Teemo. All right, so maybe our Mystic Shot's not going to do as much. Can you improve perfection? Ha! Ah, got him. Um, I don't really have it. I don't have too much of an opinion on Riven one turn kill decks. They're okay. I I feel like there's too much Targon and Hush and stuff like that in the metagame for them to really be effective. So I discard this stress testing and I draw one fleeting. Well, now we have the perfect amount of mana to play the salvage along with Joel Hunters. But yeah, it looks like it looks like three damage is just like the amount of damage you have to deal. So like maybe maybe this these mystic shots need to be like gotchas or something. As you can tell, like three three damage seems like it's the the number that you have to have. Well, I tried my best there to set up Jaw Hunters killing the Ezreal. Five away from deep. So I think I'm just gonna go dredgers, copy dredgers. Oh, if mushrooms oh a peddler. Oh, peddler is death. Cause, I, Cause now they're just giving me so many puff caps, and I I don't have very many cards in my in my deck. This yeah, peddler is just death. I 
Yeah, those things are all just too too much health for me. Can you improve perfection? But if we can, you know, maybe next turn we can just start unloading a whole bunch of devour adepts and start getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff, maybe. You know, there'll be seven sevens. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. That's what I that's what I need next turn. Drag them down. Where the trash? I, uh, but I'm creating three very valuable spells every single turn. Oh, Probably not gonna end up very well for me. You're between me and glory. Yeah, this is playing around Mystic Shot perfectly. I hope you like Ballistic Bot voice lines. <laughs> You're gonna hear a lot of them. This is a perfect matchup for Peddler, right? Like, we we just try to draw tons of cards and get rid of all of our deck. Like, it, that's just a, a perfect thing for Puff Caps to play against. <laughs> you know, like, I have all these card draw cards that I just can't play because of, because I have all these Puff Caps now. This is the perfect Peddler matchup. Yeah, like, each card basically has three Puff Caps now. You can't take three damage a card. Three, three damage. Yeah, three damage. Card. I don't really know why I'm doing the twelve three instead of the thirteen three. So they're, they're probably going to burn me out before, you know, like, they probably have, like, some burn spells, and then before I deal damage, they burn me out. Like, that's... I'd be very surprised if we win this. Um, we need to get incredibly lucky with the puff caps, and we, we did not. That was the first thing that we had to do. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Zoe Leeson. Replace that, and I like this. You know, we'll have Mystic Shot for Zoe, and Dredgers, and copy, and make a new Dredgers. So we can go deep pretty fast. So I wish that those were flipped, right? Like, we, for turn, we drew two six mana cards. And then we tossed, we tossed like all the cards we want early on, right? Like we tossed Slaughtered Ox and Double Dredge Dredgers. Very bad toss. And four draws. I will 
would prefer those to be flipped. Alright, so... Alright, gonna get rid of that thing. Another slaughter dogs, no. Mystical levitation requires concentration. All right, so even though we can play um, Slaughter Docks here, I think I need to cast Lure the Depths because I, I really want next, you know, I want five mana next turn to be able to play this Devour Depths on the Mentor of the Stones. to obliterate that and not give them the gems. Cool. No gems. Man, that thing's big. Alright, so we're nine away. making that thing even bigger. So we played one spell this turn. Yeah, so they're just going to gem that in. Now look at the draglings. What is gained from the recurring malevolence? Ooh. Plateworm egg is a spicy one. Plateworm egg's pretty spicy. They're going to take my salvage. I'm thinking about rummaging away Urchin and Rummage. Because I want to do that so that then the Slaughter Ox makes a... Sea monster this next turn, because I have to I have to cast rummage to make it so I'm one away, so the slaughter dox will will go deep. Maybe it's actually just mystic shot though. Maybe I just rummage away a mystic shot. Probably don't need two of those. We're gonna keep this other rummage. The rummages can be very helpful. If they have Leeson's champion spell and can challenge and have the side of the dragon like you know challenge the one one. That could be problematic. But obviously, we'll have a good blocker here. Oh man, a territory improvement would have been sweet. You know, with these shipwreck orders, they'll be able to block this eye of the dragon. Yeah, 
Yeah. It is time. Exactly what I was worried about. I am prepared. Well, at least I'm not dead right now. Hopefully they're dead. What is gained when we return malevolence? There we go. All right, sea monsters. All right, not bad. All right, so we got to stay alive at one. That was super close there, that last game. But um, I liked our deck. I liked how it looked. So we went one and one against the Aphelios decks, which if you can you know, stay 500 against the Aphelios decks over a long period of time, that's definitely good if you can do that. Um, we did see that the puff caps are a, are a big problem. And if you if you run into a puff cap deck, there, there's not very many puff cap decks, but if you do run into a puff cap deck, that's going to be like the weakness of this kind of deck because because the whole point is to make the library really small and also draw a whole lot of cards. <laughs> the the exact thing that is just, um, you know, very bad against puff caps. Um, but besides that, you know, so like, you know, that was our other loss of the puff caps. But besides that, we won our other two games. Um, and there's a lot of power at the top end. We saw that, you know, even just only playing two Nautilus, you know, the, the Devourer Depths were just incredible for us, of course. Shipwreck Hoarder was doing its thing. Um, I like this list. I think our, our list was pretty good. I think uh, the person that donated for this list, I, I liked it quite a bit. The only thing that it that seemed um, like maybe needs to change is Mystic Shot being something that does three damage. I think Jaw Hunters was, was super important with challenging. I th that was very important. Um, but maybe maybe we need, you know, like Gotcha instead of Mystic Shot um, to, do, to do that three damage. Uh, I mean, you could technically play Get Excited with this deck, deck, but I don't. I don't think that this is a very good Get Excited deck. Aftershock's just a little too slow. I think you you try to hopefully have two mana for Gotcha. The thing is, is like Zoe is really is you know Zoe like there's lots of Zoe's running around too, and so like having Mystic Shot for Zoe, um, that's really important. So it's it's kind of tough taking out Mystic Shot because you need that for Zoe. But we saw how important three damage is also. You know, um, Ballistic Bot was just going ballistic against us. Then we played against, like, Fiora. You know, like, you need three damage against Fiora. Obviously, Aphelios, um, Ezreal as well, Puffcat Peddler. There are so many things that that you need to do three damage against. And uh, so I, th I don't know exactly how we would fit them both in. The stress testing was pretty good. I thought that that worked pretty well with Pick a Card. You maybe don't need all three copies of Stress Testing. Maybe maybe you can get away with two, like how there's... Because you do draw so many cards. So maybe you can get away with, like, two Stress Testing, two Mystic Shot, and then that can fit in two Gotchas in here. And so you can have a couple of those and then still have, you know, a couple of Mystic Shots for, for like, turn one Zoe. Um, I think that's what I'd probably try doing is maybe, maybe get some twos like that um, in here. But uh, there we go. So there's Twisted Deep. Um, pretty fun deck to play. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of our new day. No Targon Tuesday. And, of course, this deck. Um, and, you know, anything else. Love seeing those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Twisted Deep. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.